Welcome back, guys, to the channel. I'm Jake Ellenbogen, and today we're going to be talking about Julio Jones and the Los Angeles Rams. Um, I've seen all sorts of stuff going on uh, on social media. Um, a guy that I follow and respect a ton, Peter Schrager of NFL Network, actually thought, you know, it'd be cool to start talking about, you know, Julio Jones and his connections to Raheem Morris. Um, being the former wide receivers coach with the Falcons, among other uh, roles. Um, but on top of that, just like his fit for the Rams. Now, I dove into this because I see a lot of people talking about this, wanting this to happen. The problem is, if you love Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, Van Jefferson, Deshaun Jack, any of those guys, you have to probably get ready to say goodbye to any two of them, potentially. So here's the thing. Julio Jones is one of the best receivers in football, maybe the best receiver in football. I took a look at Spotrack to see if anything was possible. Personally, I'm against this trade entirely. I think when you look at what Robert Woods can do, what Cooper Cup can do, what Van Jefferson, Deshaun Jackson, Tutu Atwell, Tyler Higbee, Bryson Hopkins, Jacob Harris, you name it, <laughs> what they all can do. I don't see the point of going out and getting a receiver, especially now that you've upgraded the quarterback position for, you know, with Matthew Stafford. I just don't really get it, but we'll play along here. Uh, so the first option here, uh, what I came up with, uh, you can trade cup and picks to get Julio Jones. Well, here's why it doesn't work. It doesn't work because now you're 40 million over the cap. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Second option trade Robert Woods and picks for Julio Jones also doesn't work because you're still 36 million over the cap and here's the third option trade Woods Havenstein and Higby it doesn't work why doesn't it work because you're still 28 million over the cap and oh by the way the Rams already did all of the restructuring they could restructure Stafford, but keep this in mind. It could save them about $15 million in cap, but that's it. That's literally the last restructure you could do. And on top of that, they're not really trying to do that. So the fact of the matter is this. Julio Jones to the Rams is not happening. It's not happening tomorrow. It's not happening next year. I, I don't think it's going to happen, period. I think the Rams feel good. The reason it's so hard to trade away these guys is because they've made it that way. Robert Woods and Cooper Cup. The dead money. Why do you have dead money? It's guaranteed money. It's guaranteed money. You trade it away and now all of a sudden you're owed that. You owe that to that player. Why is that the case? Let me tell you that it's the case because they believe in Robert Woods. They believe in Cooper Cup. And that's why they extended Robert Woods and they extended Cooper Cup. If they wanted Julio Jones, they wouldn't have extended these guys. They would have been in the market for Julio Jones before this. So to take it a step further, if the Rams were looking for that superstar receiver to maybe sell jerseys or what have you, you have to be looking at guys like Allen Robinson, Odell Beckham Jr., and even still, one, I don't see the point of it because you have a great, you have the best receiver group in the league. Two, the money. And three, I don't know how much better some of these guys are than what they have on the roster. Allen Robinson would be their best receiver. Odell Beckham Jr., he's dealt with some injuries. On top of that, that contract is not getting moved. It's way too difficult. Allen Robinson... He just signed the franchise tag. It's expensive and it'd be hard to move because they'd have to move a Robert Woods or a Cooper Cup, but they'd also have to add stuff on top of that to make the money work. And I still don't think they could. So I guess what I'm saying here, Rams fans, is that buckle up. This is your receiver group and be fortunate. Be fortunate. You could be paying $10 million per year to Jamison Crowder. That's what the Jets are doing. So, I'm sorry. I can't 
be all for this Julio Jones movement. I've never understood this idea of moving on from Robert Woods or Cooper Cup. I do understand that you want to get a number one receiver, a true number one that can go up and get the ball and is just a game breaker. But the fact of the matter is this. The Rams don't need that. They don't. And to be honest with you, Robert Woods and Cooper Cup haven't been used in that way. Who's to say Robert Woods can't go up and climb the ladder? They don't use him that way, but that was when Jared Goff was playing. Matthew Stafford is going to give every single opportunity out there for these receivers. He doesn't care how tall you are. He will throw it up there, and he will hope that you will go and make a play. So, again, Julio Jones, phenomenal receiver. Does he make sense for the Rams? Not really. The connection's there with Raheem Morris, but aside from that... That's really it. I appreciate Peter Schrager for throwing this out there because it does make sense as far as the familiarity, but that's really where that's where that stops. So if you find yourself wanting a new receiver, you're just not very fortunate to have what you have. Now, if you want to talk realistic, the Rams could trade I don't know, Tyler Higby, if they wanted to go out and get Zach Ertz, if they felt like he was an upgrade, or they want if they want to get him to pair with Tyler Higby, they could go out and they could trade Bryson Hopkins. I'm not saying I would necessarily do that, and of course picks, but I'm saying that's probably more realistic in terms of a trade. The Rams being the Rams, everybody is going to link a star disgruntled veteran to a team that trades for disgruntled star veterans i mean it, right it's pretty obvious i mean marcus peters jalen ramsey akib talib tante fowler they do this this is what they do brandon cooks sammy watkins so could the Rams make a trade mid-season or something on that, those lines? Sure, they absolutely could make a trade. Is it going to be to help the receiver room after they just spent a second-round pick on 2-2 Atwell, a fourth-round pick on a wide receiver tight end hybrid in Jacob Harris, a seventh-round pick in Ben Skorinek, and signing Deshaun Jackson? Is it going to happen after all that? Probably not. If you're looking for upgrades in the the receiving game they could go tight end but aside from that i wouldn't expect that they like their offensive line they like their receivers they like their running backs they like their quarterbacks defense kind of up in the air i think they feel good about their defense but midway through the year if they realize their linebackers aren't cutting it maybe they go out and they trade for a linebacker or they trade for a pass rusher because they didn't really address that spot enough to, say, go out and get a guy that could contribute right away. Terrell Lewis, Eshon Flashes, Justin Hollins they like. But they didn't really get anybody to compete right away alongside Leonard Floyd. And I think a lot of that had to do with checking on Terrell Lewis's development and not giving up on him. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't work out, the Rams could go out and make a similar trade that they did with Dante Fowler. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm sorry if you want Julio Jones. He's not going to be a Ram, so there's no need to uh, continue that. Um, but that's going to do it for me. If you want to support the channel, uh, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and leave a, uh, a like I'm going to actually start doing comment question of the day. It was originated by Ray William Johnson's uh, YouTube, Ray WJ, which he used to do equals three. I'm a big fan of that, and it's gone now, but I'm a big fan of that. So to pay homage to somebody that I absolutely love and the OG YouTuber that I used to watch all the time, I'm going to be doing comment question of the day. No one else is doing it. I'm going to do it. So you drop a comment, if you ask me a question on there, it might be in the next show or the next episode or the next video. Probably let's call it a video. If you want to support the channel further 
And again, participation in the comment question of the day. I'm going to try to get to all of you. If you want to support this channel even further, be sure to hit up my Patreon, become a patron today, or $4.99 a month, you can become a member. It supports the channel, and you get a members-only live stream that you get to be a part of, as well as some badges on there, because I know everyone loves badges, right? So that's going to do it for me. Again, glad you guys enjoyed. If you're at this point, I'm assuming you already enjoyed. Uh, and uh, we'll be back. You're going to see this probably before you see the Deshaun Jackson video I'm dropping, among other stuff. And uh, you guys take care.